distance on the rest of the division and for them for later in the year. Now is second and ten. Warriors 70. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's McLaughlin. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. You talk about this Washington defense. They were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. I just considered myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. He's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. On, They'll see on. about converting this third and eight. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Kirk, Kirk, 18, Pioneer. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates. Ready. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Matt Ariza now on to punt this one away. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. Could not have thrown that out there any better. When the ball hit the ground, I thought it might go into the end zone the way it was angling, but perfectly jutting out at the one. You think maybe what we saw in practice came into play there? You know, he put those big cans down on the sideline and then angled for them and then shot for them. Looks like it worked out pretty well for him, too. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. This defense for the Broncos, terrific last week in the season opening victory. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. Second down, Hal now, flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17 yard line. Just a two yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Now, the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. Hey, 
The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now the ball comes loose. Wow, that ball is not full, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, uh, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. His early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the return will stop right around the 25. I believe this is what you would call growing pains here, partner, because this defense obviously took the challenge facing the rookie, and they wanted to help indoctrinate him to the NFL. So now the big question is, can he answer that challenge and rebound with plenty of time remaining in this game? First and ten, it's Robinson. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 20, here's second down and five. Powell. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. With well, a play fake, and now here's how to throw it. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. If this for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Sly able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24 yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. And a big loss here as he's taken down. After the sack. Oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second at a country mile. Looking to throw. This will be caught. Judy. 
Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The score, Commanders ten, Broncos nothing. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. And not an easy spot Max, here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up Check the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Jalen Petrie picks it off, and he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Buffalo 18. Here's a second and seven. Flush to his right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. Ready. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. A good throw there. And this is a quarterback who's still just getting his feet wet, obviously. And by most accounts, last week played okay in the victory. But I want to know, Charles, what was your impression of his play last week? Brandon, I think a lot of teams would be happy with okay. And early on, it's less about how many touchdowns did he throw, but... Did he not throw interceptions? Did he handle adversity? Did he handle the huddle? Those types of things. That's what people are looking for. 
On first down, McLaughlin. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and eight. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Set, careful, set. They'll look to throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it. This secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Let's go now. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Check, check, They'll bring a check, receiver check. in motion left. Go They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington 16. That's good for a Denver Broncos. First and 10 at the 16 yard line. They'll try the left side. It's McLaughlin. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. So there the defense denies the rookie of his potential first career touchdown. And his first NFL touchdown celebration. I wonder if he's thought about it, if he has something cooked up in his head as he worked out with his team. And think about the celebration back home when he finally scores his first touchdown. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. We'll see oh, what he does. Well said, sir. Well said. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Broncos get a bit closer. Well, this has not been the greatest of first halves to this point. They've been pretty well dominated in all phases of the game. So this was an important drive just to show they can move the football and finish. And now they're on the board here on the touchdown run. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. They'll try to run it here. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns so here's a first and 10 at the 38 and how will throw it oh and the ball comes 
goes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Here's second and ten. Samuel in motion. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. All right, a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, then maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 45-yard line. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. A gain of 37. And that seemed to me to be all about trusting your receiver. No doubt about it, because when he put that ball in the air, I will guarantee you everyone who's watching this game right now thought, that's up for grabs. But this is a lot of practice time. As you mentioned, a ton of trust. And he knows how good his guy is. So to him, it wasn't up for grabs. To him, it was a big play waiting to happen. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson Jr., his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. He's got a man complete. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Ready. On play action, they'll throw. And he'll be hit as...
as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown! Anthony Schwartz, 38 yards. And the Broncos get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. They're going to keep it on the ground. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time they failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time. And going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. Off play action. It's Hal. Hal left to Dotson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They get 17 there. Good for a commander's first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Going right back to Dodson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now they go play action with Howell. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go, and of course they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And nothing much materializing there in the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Here's a second and eight. Tackled there. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. They'll run with Gibson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. First down, how to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Justin Simmons firing all the way in from his safety position. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Throw right side complete to Dotson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now how? It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get. Keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 33 yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third Look quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give Warriors up points, 17. then it can three, become a three. slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope 18, becomes even here. more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Second and six. 
Well, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Dragon 60! They'll set up to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. There's Jamin Davis, the former Kentucky Wildcat, bringing the pressure that time. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Grab goal 80. Broncos. 18 rattler, 18 rattler. Let's go. They're going to try and throw. That's to his running back complete. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 33, here's second and five. Howell from the gun. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A really good pickup of 28 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They'll run with Robinson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Powell completing the quick throw out wide. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Hauled in on the out route by Melton. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Up the middle they go. 
McLaughlin. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On the ready. 38 yard line, second and nine. Check out. They'll keep it on the ground. It's McLaughlin. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Let's go. Second and ten. Ready, ready. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he Let's also go, understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Second down. Hal now. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he is out up around the 15-yard line. Trying to find some space to operate. And now they'll have it. A gain of 12. A big first down to get away from the end zone. Robinson up the middle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 51 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Justin Simmons on the tackle. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 37-yard line. Here now, second and four. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. And the stop the troops, the defensive guys, down. they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Okay, Easier ready? to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. Al throwing on first down here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. 
you want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 36. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Behind the chain, second and 12. This one left side caught by Gibson. And some space here. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 23 yards to pick up there. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. On the give, here's Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. 